Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our React.js Laravel series. So guys, now in this video, we'll be learning about how to fetch our orders. Okay. So as we have seen that in previous part three videos, we have done with the order placed and with the payment gateways. So after storing the order, we want to retrieve the order and show in our dashboard guys. So guys, let's build that. So first let's move to this sidebar. Okay, so let's create an option called orders over here. So let's move. So guys, let's move to the sidebar. Let's move to layouts admin where our master layout where you can find this sidebar.js. Okay. So this is our profile and let me just copy this once again and paste below. So let me just minimize this sidebar so we can view full view. And let's make this as orders. All set admin slash orders. Okay. Let's save and let's refresh. Perfect. So we have got this order, guys. So when we click on it, you should be able to fetch that. So it right now it's not going because we don't have a URL. So it's getting redirected. So now let's create a URL with this, guys. So you just need to move to your route.js file so let's move to our routes.js where after this i want to create a orders url so orders and the name will be order and let's create a component guys with the name order okay so let's copy this and tell let me just paste it copy and paste let's replace over here and inside admin folder i want a orders folder and inside that your order guys okay so now you can move to your component admin and create one folder component admin let's create a folder to manage our orders so let's keep a order and inside this order let's create a order dot js file okay hit enter perfect and start with the importing of the code so let me just copy from our view product let's move to top let's copy all these things okay let's end the sex function export default your orders okay so let's copy this and paste here all set so you can for testing purpose we'll return open and close bracket where you can mention h4 tag with hello orders save and now let's see the output refresh okay i think it's a catch error guys so we need to refresh okay so now the catch is clear guys if your catch is not getting cleared so that time you just need to remove this and add it once again guys so that's it and then here it works so let's move on orders perfect hello orders so now guys let's begin with designing our format to fetch the orders data from our database so this is our order tables and its order items table so now let's begin with it okay so let's go to our order component and here let's begin with our use effect so let me just copy from the view product so let's copy this and paste here so yep here you can keep your orders and this is the set orders okay so let's make it capital all set we have to give mounted and if you want you can give the title called orders and here you have to create your api orders so let's create a admin slash orders guys all set and when you get the response you are going to get your orders data so we have to create still okay so what you're going to set over here use it that is your set orders so let me just set order over here done so once you're getting the result from your 
axios call so you are setting into this variable called orders so yep now we need to use this loading part so let me just copy from below okay so let's copy this let's copy all the table structure also because we want to use that so let's copy Control c and paste here done so first step you are checking with the if condition if it is there here you can tell loading orders all set once it's loaded you are going to display your products so, i mean orders so let's tell orders display orders we have to you have created the variable so we need to define at top where display orders is equal to null i'm going to keep right now so so now guys you need to loop your orders so what is our orders we have fetched as you can see that we have set orders so let's take this set orders and loop that and get all the order items in it so we are going to take the order id as key in the table row and then your first is id then you are going to get your mm, the tracking number so tracking underscore number so where is this it's in your database let me just show you here it is t r a c k i n g underscore n o so t r s c k i n g and no so guys now let's fetch the phone number of the customer so you can type phone and one email so let me just take the email if you whatever data you want you can just take it okay and we need to one not edit we need a view button so where we can tell view hyphen order okay so you can view that order and here is the status so if you want to you can show or else ignore it so i'm just going to leave this so we are taking id tracking number phone email and one view button so let's create a table requirement according to that div part so let's change this orders and let's remove this we don't need here we are taking id then tracking number your email and one phone number all set we don't need the selling price image we just need one action so yep save and here your variable you are going to take so your display order variable you are going to use that over here so it will print the data now guys let's go back to our laravel application and create a api so for which to fetch all the orders guys so let's copy this url and move back so let's close all this code let's move to api.php routes api.php and let's move to the is api admin so you have to do the code in your admin part yes guys over here let me comment and orders route colon colon get function where inside this your admin slash orders so for this admin we can set a prefix or else not a problem you can just add directly give comma and tell your order controller colon colon class at index function index so now guys let's and create a order controller so let's open a terminal press control tilde to open your terminal and php artisan make colon controller inside my i think we have created the admin folder too so api where you can create directly so under the api folder i want to create a order controller okay hit enter so controller created successfully here is your order controller 
let's move and create a function so public function with the name index and here you are going to get all the orders so let's create a variable with the name orders is equal to your order eloquent model okay colon colon all done and you can return directly a response a response function where json function where inside this you are going to get your data so one is your status that will be 200 guys and oops let's make it and here your orders data all set so let's copy this orders variable and paste here and we don't need this save and now guys let's call this api all set save and get back so you can move to your order table once and let's see what happens okay so guys now let's inspect and let's see why it's not loading the orders let's go to console log console and here we can see that fail to load the resource that is 500 error let me go to network let's refresh once guys okay all set so let's click over here on the orders so you can see the error target order controller does not exist okay let's go to a laravel application and here we have to import the class right just let's import this import class and at the top you can see that your order controller class is imported okay so yep now guys let's get back refresh and check the output so it's loading perfect so we have got that orders 200 success status where you can find your orders data all set so you can find your details guys whatever we have stored in our orders table so that placed orders okay so you can find the tracking id tracking number over here all the details of it so if you want more data you can add on guys or else it's fine with here and now guys we have successfully done with how to fetch our order data on your order model okay and let's see next video about how to view the order guys okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share